Hey YouTube, hey Sideburns here, uh, back with another video. This is going to be an overlook of my comic book collection, graphic novels, trade paperbacks, uh, hardcovers, uh, omnibuses. Um, so let's get started with the first row here. First row, this, this top row is going to be all like uh, my manga. Um, I only just started collecting manga within like the last year, so I don't have a very uh, big selection. Um, but we got Death Note, Volume 1 through 3, the Black Editions. Death Note's good. Um, the first two books I was really into and I blew through them and the third it kind of slowed down for me so I haven't really continued yet uh, I want to finish the story I just haven't I don't know just uh it's not like top priority I got 20th Century Boys here by uh Naoki Arasawa I love this uh series I have the first 12 volumes um I was buying these at my local comic book shop um uh, trying to support them um but they don't have uh volume 13 so that's why I haven't uh I haven't continued the series. I just need to go online and order that one. But um, the first 12 uh, books that I've read, I've loved every uh, minute of it. Uh, we got Pluto, Volume 1 through 2. That's uh, written by the same uh, by Urasawa. Love this story, too. Um, I got Ikigami, um, Volume 1. I got this at a used bookstore for a buck, so I bought it. said, what the heck. I haven't read it yet. Um, Oshimbo, Volume 1. Um, excellent book. Uh, especially for food lovers. If you're like into like Food Network, I um, highly suggest uh, this book and the series. There's like five or six volumes, I want to say, um, and it's super fun. Uh, Project X Challengers, uh, Cup Noodle. Um, I haven't read this yet. I got this also at a used bookstore for a buck, um, but I'm going to give it a shot here in the near future. Bakuman, volume one through five, uh, same uh, creative team as Death Note. I actually like this a lot better than Death Note. Um, it's a really good series. Um, Ma Magi or Magi, um, I don't know how um, you pronounce it, but um, I got this used bookstore for a buck. I got these like uh, Magi, Old Boy, and The Drops of God all used bookstore for a buck. Um, so I figured, what the heck. Um, I haven't started reading Magi yet, um, but I read like the first page. And I kind of know that I won't like it, so I probably won't even read it. Old Boy is good. Um, I'll probably continue the series in the future. Uh, Drops God, I haven't started yet, but it's like about wine. Uh, I got Death Note Volume uh, 7 and 8, which continues the series after Volume 3, the Black Edition. Um, they got uh, Battle Royale Volume 1, Scott Pilgrim 1 through 6. Everyone knows about Scott Pilgrim. And Lone Wolf and Cub, uh, first five volumes. I got this for like five dollars off of eBay, so I said, "What the heck?" Um, I've read the first volume; it's good. Um, I'll continue reading it. I, just, I have a lot of stuff that I'm kind of reading it at right now, so this one's gonna have to hold off. Um, down here, we've got it's a little dark in my room. Sorry, I've got the first two hardcover volumes of the Mortal Iron Fist by Fraction and Aja. Um, Brew Baker also is a co-writer on some of this. Um, good series. Um, Spider-Man Short Halloween and Brand New Day Volume 1. I got these at my little comic book shop. They're like 75% off, so I said what the heck and bought them. I uh, haven't read them yet. Punisher, uh, Welcome Back Frank. Uh, Garth Ennis is probably one of my favorite writers in comics. Um, and his Punisher run is excellent. And Welcome Back Frank is the start of his run, and it's great. I got the first three volumes of Journey into Mystery, the hardcovers, by Karen Gillan. Um, I really like this series, and it just bummed me out because, like, volume four came out in a soft cover, and they started just doing trade, pa trade, paperba uh, trade paperbacks, and I, I'm, like, really OCD when it comes to my collection. I don't like having, um, I don't like having a mix of hardcover and trade paperbacks for the same, uh, series. So I just stopped. I just bought the single issues and stopped buying the um, collection. Um, Nova, it's the same thing. They went into soft covers after the first hardcover, and I just been reading that in single issues. Uh, even with the change of creative team, it's still really good. Um, Thor: God of Thunder by Jason Aaron. Uh, I got the first two uh, volumes here in hardcover. Um, I Jason Aaron's run on Thor has been what I I feel is the best run on Thor since Walt Simonson's run in the 80s. He's anybody looking to get into Thor, I highly suggest reading this. Indestructible Hulk, um, it's good. I'm not really a fan of uh, uh, Lionel Francis' um, 
art, so I just never continued on it, even though I know they changed artists, but whatever. Uh, Iron Man, um, didn't like it. Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 1 by Bendis. The, um, I don't know, I... Bendis I have a love-hate relationship with. I like some of his stuff, I don't like some of his stuff. Um, and I don't like his take on Guardians of the Galaxy, and I hate that he put Iron Man in it. Um, Iron Man shoehorned into everything now because he makes money, so... But I don't think he has it. He has no business being in with the Guardians of the Galaxy. But this volume is apparently out of print now, like the hardcover. And now that the movie is like really popular, this book is worth a lot of money online. So I'm happy about that. And then I got All New X-Men by Bendis. This is one of the books that I do love by Bendis. I think he has a great take on the X-Men. And um, I'm going to stop collecting these um, smaller premiere edition hardcovers because they're going to start coming out with the oversized. And I like oversized more. So once those come out, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna collect uh I'm gonna re um, rebuy all, starting from volume one of the oversized ones. Then uh, I got Avengers by Hickman. Um, I actually like Hickman's new Avengers run more. I don't have them in um, hardcovers or I just read them in single issues. But I actually like his new Avengers more than his uh, Avengers proper run. Uncanny Avengers by Rick Remender. I think Rick Remender and along with Jason Aaron are. Uh, just killing everything that they write right now for Marvel, and his Uncanny Avengers run is amazing, and it's, if you've read his uh, Uncanny S X-Force run, um, it's it's like just a continuation of that, and I love it. We got uh, Avengers Arena Volume 1 through 2, it's good, Hawkeye Volume 1 um, by Fraction and Aja, uh, great series, um, excellent art, a uh, really fun take on... Um, uh, Clint Barton, and I have the oversized hardcover of uh, Volume 1, uh, Friends Borrowing It right now, um, but yeah, uh, then I got Fantastic Four, it was, it was okay, um, Journey into Mystery featuring Sif, I really, really liked this series, and it sucks that they canceled it, but that's usually what they do with good series is cancel them, uh, Deadpool Volume 1, um, it's good, I'm not really a big Deadpool fan, but, uh, I actually like what they're doing with him in this series. Um, he's not as annoying as he is in most other books. Uh, we got uh, Daredevil Born Again and The Man Without Fear, the Frank Miller um, stories. I, I love Born Again, uh, one of the best Daredevil uh, stories. We got so focus Daredevil Ultimate Collection by Brubaker and Lark. We got Ultimates Volume 1 and 2. Ultimates is good. Secret Wars. Uh, very much 80s. Uh, I don't know. I... Like, I read this when I was a kid, and I really liked it. Uh, I've gone back and read it again. And it's it has, like, the nostalgia factor of it that makes it, like, enjoyable. But other than that, it's kind of... I don't know. Uh, Infinity Gauntlet, a uh, great story. Everyone knows about that. Thanos Imperative. Um, uh, Abnett Lanning's Cosmic um, Run uh, with Guardians and Annihilation. Annihilators was awesome, and Thanos Imperative is great. Uh, Annihilation Volume 1. One and two. I have volume three. It's just not out on the shelf. Fear itself was meh. Uh, Avengers Forever. Everyone seems to really love this book, and I did not. I thought it was really long and wrote, and it was like reading a thousand page novel. And I don't mind reading a lot in my comics, uh, but this was felt like homework. Uh, Captain Britain and my 13 Marvel's projects. I got Marvel's Captain America Operation Rebirth. Uh, Wade's uh, short-lived run on Captain America. I really enjoyed that run. We got Winter Soldier. Um, everyone knows about Brubaker's run on Captain America, and it's excellent. Astonishing X, uh, Astonishing Spider-Man and Wolverine. Uh, Aaron Kubert. Uh, this is a fun little series. Uh, Spider-Man: Craven's Last Hunt. This is my favorite uh, Spider-Man story. Uh, actually, I absolutely love it, and I really wish I could afford some of the original artwork for it, because I'd love to have that in my room. That's Spider-Man The Gauntlet Volume 2 and Grim Hunt, uh, X-Men God Loves, Man Kills. Then I got my Marvel Knights, uh, trade paperbacks here, Spider-Man Reign, Sur Silver Surfer Requiem, Submariner of the Depths, uh, Ribic's artwork in the depths is, uh, beautiful. Then Brian K. Vaughn and his uh, Wolverine Logan, which is uh, really, really good. We um, got the Chris Claremont, Frank Miller, uh, Wolverine, uh, Wolverine Weapon X, Old Man Logan, uh, Miller McNiven, 
Um, McNiven's art is amazing in that book. And then we got Miller's uh, Wolverine Enemy of the State. And over here we got some um, Marvel 1985. Anybody that was a fan of like 80s, uh, 1980s uh, Marvel comics, would it? I mean, it's just a throwback love letter to that. Uh, Kick-Ass, Nemesis, didn't really like Nemesis. Um, McNiven's art is not as good in that book. Um, he really just needs a good inker to make his art really pop. Uh, we got some classic G.I. Joe um, trades here. I got Akira, volume 1 through 3. I own all six volumes, uh, but I have a buddy that's borrowing the last three. Uh, luckily, he takes just as good care of, of his books as um, I do, so I don't worry about when I let him borrow stuff, he takes really good care of it. Um, I got the Parker series in hardcovers here by Darwin Cook. Uh, Darwin Cook, one of my favorite creators out there. His artwork and his storytelling is amazing. Uh, Bone, volume one through five, and I have volume. I have the rest of the volumes. Um, they're just not out on the shelf. Uh, down here is going to be my uh, omnibus uh, omnibuses or omnibuy. I got planetary omnibus. Uh, planetary is an excellent, excellent story. Warren Ellis uh, just killed it on this, and um, I suggest this book to anybody, even people that aren't into comics. Uh, uh, then I got my Thor Simonson Omnibus. I love uh, Walt Simon, uh, Wal Walter Simonson's um, run on Thor. Uh, Aaron's given him a run for his money, but he needs to do it for a couple more years um, before he can take over the mantle of the best Thor run. But because uh, Walt Simonson right now, his I mean, just Beta Ray Bill alone was almost enough to make it the best. Beta Ray Bill being my favorite. Uh, comic uh hero got ecstatics funny book uh astonishing x-men by uh joss whedon um out of print now so i'm glad i have it because it goes for a pretty hefty price online uh uncanny x-force by remender this just came out swooped it up as fast as i could i own all these single issues but i wanted the omnibus uh love that run uh we got uh Marvel, uh, we got The Punisher by, uh, Garth Ennis. Garth Ennis, uh, here we go, finally, um, focus there, so you can see him better. Uh, Garth Ennis' run on Punisher, I think, is the best run on Punisher ever, and, uh, it's probably my favorite omnibus that I have, only because, like, I've seen the prices that this omnibus goes for online, and it's ridiculous, and I'm just glad I own it. Um, uh, Punisher Max Omnibus by Jason Aaron. Uh, especially with the Steve Dillon art, it really feels like this is just a continuation of Garth Ennis' run, which I really like. Um, Jason, Ar Jason Aaron kind of can do no wrong when it comes to comics right now. Um, Captain America, the Brubaker Omnibuses. got Volume 1 and Volume 2. Um, best run on Captain America... Uh, ever in my opinion. Oh, wait. Sorry about the shaky cam. Then we got uh, Frank, Mer Frank Miller's uh, Daredevil Omnibus. Got Daredevil Volume 1. This uh, has Kevin Smith's run. Uh, Ultimates Volume 2. Hulk. Planet Hulk. Um, Hulk Planet Hulk is a really, really fun um, kind of out there uh, action story, sci fi story. Civil War, Siege, I actually like Siege more than Civil War, I thought Siege was excellent, uh, really great, like, uh, Thor story, uh, Spider, Li Spider Island, um, it was okay, uh, Ultimate Spider-Man, um, I own, I have all the single issues of Ultimate Spider-Man, and then, um, I stopped collect, I stopped, uh, buying them, and, um, when I came back and wanted to continue the story, I just decided to start buying them in, um, the hardcovers, and volume 12 was where I left off, and then I just haven't continued buying the other ones. Uh, I got the Infinity hardcover. Infinity, Infinity was pretty good. Um, X-Men Battle of the Adam. And I ha uh, halfway through that. I haven't finished yet, but it's good so far. Age of Ultron. It was okay. I don't think it was as bad as everyone said it was. Um, I'm really disappointed, though, because... I don't know. Like Lately, a lot of like my Marvel books that I've been getting, they're like... The printing, like these... Uh, dust jackets they're like misaligned so it just doesn't look good on my shelf it has this like gnarly long 
uh, like the that's like the back cover and it's on the side and the the infinity hardcover is the same way and actually my um planetary omnibus is like that but i returned that one and got a new one um i got daredevil the wade run volume one uh, i love uh wade's daredevil run it's one of the best books out there right now spirit spider run volume one oversized Inhumans maxi series. Uh, Jay Lee's art is amazing in this, and it's a really good, uh, really good uh, a series on um, on the Inhumans. Kind of a, a good introduction to them if you've never read about the Inhumans. Uh, Marvel sixteen oh two. I don't know. Uh, I love Neil Gaiman's Sandman series. I've read it multiple times. I'm actually rereading it right now. But anything else that he's written in comics, I just can't get into. Um, Daredevil End of Days, uh, Bendis is a really good, really good book. Um, uh, mis it's like a mystery. And then, uh, Spider-Man by Bendis and Pacelli was pretty good. Let's go over to my next. So, let's start on the top here. I've got... These are my, um, like, absolutes and stuff. And also books that I'm in the middle of reading. Um... So we got the Martini edition of Parker by Darwin Cook. Darwin Cook's art is, it has to be seen in these oversized pages. It's amazing. Uh, Absolute Dark Knight, Absolute Batman Long Halloween, um, Batman and Robin, Absolute by uh, Morrison's Run, uh, Green Lantern Rebirth. Uh, I bought this. I'm not like, I like Green Lantern. I'm not a huge Green Lantern fan, but I bought this Absolute because it was like $15 on eBay and it was brand new. So I said, why? I mean, why not? Um, Absolute Planetary Volume 2. Volume 1's out of print. I used to own it, um, but it got damaged, so I sold it, um, because someone wanted to buy it, and I regret that I sold it. Um, at the Fifth Beetle hardcover, uh, it's the Brian Epstein story. It, the artwork alone in this book is worth the price. Um, Jim Henson's Tale of Sand, and then the books after that, these are all my, um, Stuff that I'm in the middle of reading at the moment. Um, with the, uh, the Starman Omnibus, Volume 1. We got the Volume 4 of The Boys. Uh, last Volume of Sweet Tooth. Astro City Local Heroes. Daredevil Volume 2. Uh, last Volume of Gotham Central. Sandman Volume 7. I'm actually just rereading Sandman. I've read it before. Sex Volume 1. Winter Soldier White Out by Greg Rucka. Next Wave. Um, Agents of Hate. Um, re just rereading that because it's one of the most hilarious books I've ever read, and Punisher Frankencastle, and then I got uh, Vinland Saga Volume 1. Uh, going on to my next shelf. Uh, we got uh, Volume 1 of The Flash Omnibus by Jeff Johns. Um, uh, five volumes of Why the Last Man, the deluxe edition. Uh, Why the Last Man is uh, my favorite Brian K. Vaughn story. Um, Saga is right there, nipping at its heels, but um, Why the Last Man is still number one. Um, we got Cobra, The Last Laugh, uh, IDW, hardcover by uh, Costa and Gage. Uh, it's a really great take on G.I. Joe if they were like in the real world, and it's like real espionage and spies. It's really good. Uh, Killing Joke, everyone knows about The Killing Joke. Um, Snyder's Black Mirror, Batman Run, uh, through Detective Comics, uh, excellent run, uh, Joker, Death of the Family, Injustice Volume 1, I really, really like the Injustice, um, series, uh, I was reading it all digitally, but they started coming out with these hardcovers, so I'm collecting the hardcovers too, um, Black Beetle by, Fr uh, uh, Francisco Francovia, um, I really hope he continues, or gets back to doing these issues, because, it's a really, really fun, like, pulpy noir story. Lock and Key, Volume 1 through 4. Um, I've read this whole series. I just don't own Volume 5 and 6 yet. Um, just need to get on it. But I, I really... Lock and Key is a great, great horror story. Um, we got Lucifer. There we go. Lucifer Volume 1, Transmet Volume 1, DMZ um, Volume 1. Um, I'm actually um, rebuying all the DMZs in the new Deluxe Editions. Um, so I've sold off uh, all my DMZ volumes. I just had an extra Volume 1, so 
I still have it on my shelf. Um, Transmetropolitan, I've sold all my Transmetropolitan volumes too, um, except for uh, I had another extra volume one, so I kept it because um, Transmetropolitan is going to start coming out in deluxe editions too, so I'm going to buy those. Uh, American Vampire, uh, Exterminators, and then Fables 1 through 6. Um, I've read Fables 1 through 6, these volumes, and I just, I don't know, I have no, I have no ambition, like, I just don't want to re continue reading. I just, it's not for me. Um, Northlanders, volume 1 and 6, um, and then Preacher, volume, uh, the whole Preacher series, volume 1 through 9. Preacher's my favorite comic story, um, of all time. I, I, I reread Preacher at least once every year. Uh, Unwritten, volume 1 through 5. Sandman, volume 1 through 6. Um, I have volume 1 through, and I'm, the other 7 through 10, um, they're just not on my bookshelf because I'm rereading this series. Uh, Sweet Tooth, Volume 1 through 5, and then Scalp, Volume 1 through 3. I actually own all the single issues of Scalped, and I was uh, started to buy all the trade paperbacks, but they're going to come out with um, uh, oversized deluxe editions of Scalp 2, so I'm just going to um, buy those instead. Uh, this is a lot of my DC stuff. I've got Green Lantern, Rebirth, Black Knight, uh, Flash, Jeff Johns Run, um, uh, Flash Rebirth, uh, Flashpoint, and a couple Flashpoint tie-ins, the Batman and the Wonder Woman um, tie-ins. Uh, I got Rogue's Revenge, uh, Identity Crisis. Uh, Identity Crisis is great if you like uh, like murder mystery. Um, I suggest reading Identity Crisis. It's really a uh, really good take on um, JLA. Uh, I got the 52 Volume 1 through 2. Uh, uh, Mark Wade's JLA Year 1. Um, really, really fun book. Um, and Justice League International, uh, funny book, really funny book. Uh, JSA, The Golden Age, really good take on the JSA, like an alternate take on the JSA. Um, JLA, Avengers Crossover, Cosmic Odyssey, Kingdom Come, All-Star Superman, beautiful book, beautiful story. Uh, Red Sun, uh, Red Sun's probably my favorite Superman, um, story. Um, just uh, Superman landing in Russia instead of America and, you know, kind of how the world would be if that happened. Got some Green Arrow trades. And this goes into my Batman stuff. Uh, I got Batman Ego, uh, Robin Year One, uh, Bruce Wayne Murder. I got No Man's Land, the first two volumes. Um, Gotham Central, I love Gotham Central. Um, we got some Morrison stuff, Return of Bruce Wayne, Arkham Asylum. Um, Hush, Heart of Hush. Got some Jeff Loeb, and this goes into Jeff Loeb's you know, uh, Long Halloween, Dark Victory, Haunted Night, Miller's All Star Batman and Robin. I actually really like it. Uh, everyone, you know, hated that book, but I thought it was uh, a really good satire on kind of the grim and gritty comics um, that, ironically, Frank Miller in kind of introduced, and it's just him kind of lashing out at that. Uh, Batman Year One, my favorite, which is my favorite Batman story. Got uh, Dark Knight Returns, Dark Knight Strikes Again. I another book that a lot of people don't like, and I really like. I think Dark Knight Strikes Again is a really good book. Um, I think it's more of a DC Universe book than it is a Batman book. Um, but I know the art is what turns people off, um, but I can get over it. Um, the Astro City, I love Astro City, was thrilled when they brought Astro City back this past year. Um, uh, Astro City Confessions Volume 2 alone, like, you can just read that without reading any of the other volumes, and that alone is just a great story. V for Vendetta, Watchmen, Underwater Welder, uh, Mouse, the complete collection, and then the made-up.